Greetings! My name is Monty Martin. And I'm Kelly McLaughlin. And, and we, we are, are the Dungeon, Dungeon Dudes. Dudes. Once again, we just want to extend a massive thank you to everyone who has checked out and supported Sebastian Crow's Guide to Drakenheim, which is now live on Kickstarter. With all of the amazing success that this Kickstarter has had, we've been able to unlock a ton of stretch goals, which has included several additional subclasses. And today, we're really excited to talk about some of those subclasses with you. In our book, we are introducing new subclasses for every base class in 5th edition. In this video, we're going to be looking at several of the martially focused subclasses, those that we're introducing for barbarians, fighters, rogues, rangers, and monks. All of these subclasses are inspired by the world of Drakenheim, but are completely usable in any 5th edition campaign. In the world of Drakenheim, there are those who worship the old gods. These primal deities may be distant and unknown, but it is still believed that they whisper to those who have an affinity towards nature or the natural elements of the world. There are some who become warriors of the old gods, and this is going to be our first subclass, the Barbarian Path of the Old Gods. The Path of the Old Gods Barbarian is particularly excellent for barbarians who worship Cromac the Beast Father, or Nodens the Primal Tempest, God of Seas and Storms. But any worshipper of the Old Gods, or any barbarian warrior who simply wants to throw down, will love this subclass. The core feature of this class is its Brute Strength ability. This ability allows them to grab any weapon they want, and as long as it's not a light weapon, it gains the Heavy and Thrown properties. And no matter what the damage die was before, the damage die for the weapon now becomes a d12. The Old Gods Barbarian is deadly no matter what they are wielding in their hands. And that goes as far as also being able to wield random objects that they find in the environment, because they are also proficient with improvised weapons. Weapons. And this means that they can pick up a table and throw it with just as much force as they could swing a sword. With this subclass, we really wanted to embody that fantasy of a ferocious primal warrior who can use almost anything as a weapon. And in addition to that, they can throw their muscle around with their adaptable combatant feature to grapple and shove as they are making their attacks, even against foes that are much larger than them. But for those puny foes, they can pick them up and wield them as a weapon as well! <laughs> so if your barbarian fantasy has always been to grab a goblin and smash other goblins with it, you can do that now with the Path of the Old Gods Barbarian. There are some warriors, though, who might have a bit more of a strategic mind in battle, and in the worlds of Drakenheim, with so many wars and conflicts always brewing, there is a necessity for great fighters who can lead the charge in battle, and that's where we get to the Commander Fighter. The Commander Fighter can issue a battle command as a bonus action, and when they do, they choose an ally, and that ally can either regain some hit points, just tell them to rub some dirt in it, or make an immediate attack using their reaction, or move instead. They can even use this feature to help their allies shake off conditions like charm and fear. As the commander fighter gains levels, they're going to be able to issue more commands to more allies at the same time. And their capstone feature, Call to Action, is going to allow them to use their action surge ability to grant an ally an additional action. In between ferocious warriors and brave commanders are many more martial traditions in the world of Drakenheim, and perhaps none is more unique than the monks of the Way of the Serpent. These unique warriors train following inspiration from serpents and snakes, and they are able to wield polearm weapons as monk weapons. Using weapons like halberds, glaives, and spears, combined with a dexterous fighting style, allows them to keep their foes at bay, dancing around the battlefield, and even pole vaulting into the air. You can adopt several different serpent strikes, and using your key points, you can apply poisons to your attacks that can either debilitate or do extra damage, or even slow the movement of your foes. Finally, Monks of the Way of the Serpent can also master several serpent stances. These serpent stances allow them to take on really powerful effects. For example, the Coatl stance allows Way of the Serpent monks to take to the skies and fight with their pole arms as they do so, whereas the Merilus stance allows the Way of the Serpent monk to use additional reactions that they can use to take more opportunity attacks. Now the center stage of our setting is the ruined city of Drakenheim, which has become the hunting ground for many urban Rangers, which is another subclass that we are introducing for the Ranger in this book. 
We drew our inspiration for the Urban Ranger so much from parkour, and so the Urban Ranger is a master of acrobatics and athletics. Able to climb buildings with ease and leap across roof rooftops, their mobility in urban environments allows them to get vertical and get above their opponents. This is very important because the vantage point feature allows them to gain advantage on their attacks as long as they are in an elevated position from their enemies. It's no use, they have the high ground. <laughs> Finally, the Urban Ranger has an expanded spell list, giving them access to amazing and useful spells in an urban environment, such as Featherfall, Invisibility, and Dimension Door. Also frequenting the ruins of Drakenheim are many deadly and dangerous smugglers who are bringing in and out ill-gotten gains from the city of Drakenheim. So this brings us to the Smuggler Rogue. Their pack rat feature means that they always have a bag of junk with them, and they can pull out any mundane adventuring gear worth under 25 gold pieces. But this means that there's always a chance that they have the right item to fit most random situations they find themselves in. Of course, being able to carry a lot of extra gear is no use to you if you can't get it past whoever might be trying to hunt down your contraband. So the Smuggler Rogue is adept at hiding in a crowd, as well as slipping around many enemies in combat while avoiding opportunity attacks. Not only that, but because they're so adept at maneuvering around people, their Never Tell Me The Odds feature allows them to use their sneak attack even if they have disadvantage. And finally, at higher levels, they'll be able to smuggle way more items into their bag, including the ability to smuggle spells stolen from spellcasters or spell scrolls. So these are the martial characters that you can bring to life at your game tables that you can find in Sebastian Crow's Guide to Drakenheim. We've done a previous video explaining some of the contaminated subclass options, and we are going to be doing a future video on some of the more magical specific subclass options. There's going to be so many subclasses to choose from and to explore in your games, all inspired by the dark fantasy and cosmic horror of a Drakenheim setting. There is so much more that we have in store in this project, including lots of great accessories and other add-ons in addition to the book, which is packed with many more player options, including dozens of new spells and the new Apothecary base class. We've got tons of information and you can back the Kickstarter by following the links in the description below. But best of all, everyone that backs the book, well, it's gonna be a little while before we deliver physical copies of the book. We're gonna be launching a play test this fall, shortly after the Kickstarter as well. So if you love these new player character options and want to start trying them out, you'll be actually able to do so in just a couple weeks. So stay tuned for more information on Sebastian Crow's Guide to Drakenheim and jump in on the Kickstarter while it's still live by checking the links below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time in Drakenheim.